50 years ago today, Chicano students walked out of West High School in Denver to demand respect. Respect for their language, respect for their culture. Sony Gutierrez has a look back. On March 20th, 1969, approximately 150 to 200 students staged a walkout. The steps of West High School painted a different picture. In protest of alleged racist remarks, made by a teacher at that school. Chicanos were tired of being treated unfairly. Students, you know, who were chastised for bringing food from home and, you know, needing to eat in the corner silently and, you know, having their hands slapped for speaking Spanish. Even when know, students um, tried their best, Teresa and Mia, principal and resident principal now, say they've heard stories of how students still got disrespectful comments from their teachers. That Mexicans are stupid and if you're stupid, if your family speaks Spanish. So Chicanos united and did something about it. They created a list of demands. This is one of the first drafts. They were asking for Spanish teachers for access to different opportunities aside from being recruited for the war. Number three, a principal with a Spanish surname must be appointed to administer West High School. And the first answer is no. no. That's not going to happen yeah, in 1969. No. But in 2019, 50 years later, there are now three Chicana leaders um, here, the principal in principal uh, roles, plus we have other Chicano administrators as well. Daughters of two men who were a part of the West High School blowouts. Her father's out front mm -hmm. as part of the protest and as part of the crusade for justice and actually getting arrested as part of that. And then my father is inside and supporting students and helping. Are now helping run the school together. And here we are mm -hmm. co-leading. <laughs> 50 years later. They're an example for students now. I don't think I would have gotten the same opportunities at any other high school as I get them here. Who want to continue the legacy of a community that fought for their opportunities. What we're asked to do is to preserve culture, yeah. to preserve language, to right. fight for justice, and to, pre to fight for access. And that's really our call today. It's no different. For next. Thank you, class of 2019. I'm Sonia Gutierrez. Both Teresa and Mia told us they feel like we've come a long way. Next, they're focused on more opportunities for students who were brought to this country illegally.